What's up guys? Welcome. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry, it's really bright out. It's first thing in the morning here down in South Florida. Got the, the dragon den back here. About six days ago now, I adopted a bird named Phoenix. This is Taruk. You need the attention. Oh, you want it, daddy? He's a baby. This is Taruk. He's only, he's almost a year old. Still, just a little baby. He's the cutest though. <laughs> look, at that. look how cute he is. Oh my god. You are adorable, Taruk. Still makes his little baby noises. He loves to cuddle. Super big cuddler. Taruk was eight weeks old when I got him. He was just, ah. was just getting his feathers when I got him. So, he's known nothing but love his whole life. Ah. He's never been, never been scared. Never been hurt. Nothing. Just the love. That's all. So he's like my he's like my baby. You gotta go up here. I gotta make some stuff. I'm gonna give you the food. Okay? I'm gonna give you the food here in a little bit. <coughs> Relax. And this is Phoenix. So, I don't know if you guys have rescued birds before, but he's doing pretty well. He doesn't really try to attack me too much. You see, he's not really trying to attack me. He's eh. He's looking a little, he's showing some little signs of don't get close to me. But that's okay. That's okay, you're gonna be a good bird. Um, just gotta give it time. It's been six days right now. Um, when I first got him, he was super scared of everything. He's getting a lot better now. I have to give him treats and stuff and food and he loves it. I'm hoping that he comes around soon. With having Taruk, Hopefully Taruk sets a good example, you know. Phoenix will see Taruk stepping up and Taruk is very well behaved. So maybe he'll maybe he'll get the hint and he'll be like, oh, humans aren't that bad. Maybe I could be nice to dad. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? But yeah, as of right now, he's a little brat. But sometimes he lets me touch him. So we're just gonna see how he acts today. Give you guys a little update. He is very happy though. He doesn't have to be. He doesn't have to be kept in a cage all day. You get the food that you should get. It's okay. See? Wow. See this? Normally, he just tries to get me. That's normally the first thing that he does. Okay. It's okay. Okay. You're doing so good. Now, the first couple days that I had him, he wasn't letting me do this. Like, even yesterday, yesterday morning, before I went to go try to touch him, he just lunges at me, tries to bite me. It's crazy, and you just can't show, can't show any fear with him, you know, because that's what they want. If you turn your, you pull away and you're scared, they're like, oh. They're like, oh, that human's scared of that. Now I know. So we just lunge at him and he won't touch me. No, that's not how it is. I walk up to his cage every morning and I talk to him. I ask you how your morning was. You know? Birds are very sensitive. And they know tone in your voice. It's all about how you interact with them. I don't force anything on this bird. So when I first got him, he was super scared of me. And obviously I want to train him how to step up and I want to hold him because he's a bird and he's, he's mine. But it's all on his terms. See, right now he wants to go back in his cage. I'm gonna let him go back in his cage. It's all on their terms. So if I, if I bring a new bird home, when I first got him home, if I bring him home and he's scared and he doesn't want to come out of his cage and I force him to come out of his cage, then he's gonna be scared of me. Still, and it's not gonna, it's gonna be completely counterproductive. You know, this bird is never gonna trust me. 
Because every time I come up to him and I try to hold him or something, I grab him and I force him out of his cage when he doesn't want to. They don't want that. You should be able to just walk right up to your bird and they want to be on you, you know? Like, to, like he's like so happy right now that I want to touch him. He's like, oh, dad wants to hold me? I'm gonna get all fluffy and cute and I'm gonna let dad touch me, you know? Cause you're a little baby. He loves it. He's like the biggest baby in the world. I'm gonna get them sex soon. I haven't done that yet, I've been super busy at work. I gotta make an appointment with the vet to do the ah. DNA testing. I think they might be girls, honestly. Like his head's really little, his head's pretty little too. So I don't know, I might have two girls on my hand. You guys want some grapes? Ah. Give you some grapes? Ah. <laughs> He's fucking pretty bird, right? They don't dislike each other either. Like ah. they don't, you see how they just were? Like they didn't try to like, murder each other, or try to bite each other, or lunge at each other, or anything like that. They're not making aggressive noises towards each other. Can you ah. please go back on your cage? Can you go, please? I'm gonna go get you some food. Go back up here. Please go on your cage. Gotta train him how to step down a little better. He's a baby. Ah! Don't. It's okay. You see how he's like kind of. He's kind of telling me he's like, hey, you need to, you need to back up a little. It's okay. You're gonna be okay. I'm gonna go get you some food. Okay. Let's go get him some treats. So I got some grapes. Grapes are one of their favorite snacks. I like to give them cold grapes in the morning, they love it. Um, they just kind of eat out the insides and they get to play with it. And they like to forage, so like any any kind of fruit that they have to like pick open and, and eat, they love. It's like a little game for them. So, and they're cold, they love this thing. Look, I got a grape for you. Want this? Mmm. Yeah. Ah, you took that so gently. You took that so gentle, you little baby. You don't even want to eat. You just want to be with me, right? You just want to be with your daddy. Ah! You just want to be with daddy. You can't though. I gotta do stuff. I gotta feed you and stuff. I gotta do stuff. I gotta feed you. Ah! I gotta feed you. I gotta give you the rest of the ah! food. I'm just gonna keep doing some updates with you. Just wanted to show you how Phoenix was. I got a busy day ahead. Gotta get ready for work. Do stuff. My mornings are crazy. Every morning I wake up, gotta take care of the animals, feed the birds, give them some love. I like playing some music for them too. This one loves music actually. I uh, I woke up the other day and he was kind of going like this on his cage, dancing. So I was like, oh, you're dancing? You like that? Look how happy you are. A happy bird right there. Keep posted. If you have any questions, comments, comment below. I'm gonna try really hard to get to everybody. Tell your friends about this channel. If you got any bird tips or anything like that to give me, let me know. I'm always down to learn more stuff about them. I've had birds for a few years now, so I'm, I'm no pro by any means, but I've had animals my whole life, and this little guy is awesome. He's my favorite. He's like, my little ride or die, right? You're the best. You're the best little fire chicken ever. We gotta work on work on a few things on these videos. Someone commented on my last video, say I need to work on my outros. So here, here's your outro. Hope everybody has a great day. Enjoy this video. Enjoy the other ones. Go go click on the other videos if you haven't. If you're new to the channel, it's a new channel. I just started it a month ago, but catch up. Go click on the other, down there, however you do it. Go click on the other videos, give that a watch. Got some cool stuff. Stay tuned for some cool cool things that are gonna happen. I got a bunch of friends that I'm gonna make videos with soon. My friend Chandler, he's got a cool channel. My buddy Mikey Tarzan, he's got an awesome channel too. We got Blake, my buddy Blake. Hopefully I can get over there too. See you later.